Good morning, Auto Hunters. Uh, we are here in Old Westbury, New York, and this is the Cannonball event. And if you take a look right here, I believe this is the winning car. Uh, 27 hours, 25 minutes. If you don't know what Cannonball is, um, that's a problem. Um, it is a C to C um, race. Here's all the cars. This was a. Uh, Ford looking, but it's really an Audi. Uh, I think this is the record holder right here. Good morning. Uh, Coming over. This is one of the original Cannonball cars. I woke up. I did the whole thing where I was sleeping so hard. I woke up. Really cool stuff. Got it. Check out the sub. Yeah, I'm like, I don't care if this thing is thermal imaging, laser jammers. C to C Express. Just some really neat cars around. So I drove all the way here for this particular reason. Um, I love cars, as you all know, but the Cannonball is something that was created to have fun with getting across the country. Look at the size of that fuel tank. The whole back end is a fuel tank. I think this is Ed Bullion's car. It is, because I just saw him put that sticker on the other day. Cool little Honda CVCC. This was the original, 28 hours and 50 minutes from Red Ball Garage to the Fortofino in 2013. Get everything on the dashboard, it's all nice and buttoned up. All right, so this is a modern General Lee. Like, I don't care what you think about the Confederate flag. Um, the TV show Dukes of Hazard was an iconic show. No, it has the Confederate flag on the top, but that's just cool. That is so incredibly cool. Like, I'm not out here making political statements. Never will. Uh, it's just a cool car. And I love how you get it parked underneath the trees. Here is an original Porsche Targa. This one did the four ball rally, the one in 1983. Again, from New York to, actually from Boston to San Diego. So, original steering wheel. I like the radar detector right down there. You can take it like right there. That's cool. Get the front end. Yeah. I love this. See, very, very neat. And then you get this cool Mercury Cougar. With the Hearst shifter. Well, when you're driving at night, you need a lot of lights. Look at that. And these are all the Cannonball cars. All right, so this is a 190, I believe. Hey, look, I got it right. 190 SL, beautiful green. It's like a purplish green because it changes colors. It's super nice. It's spotless on the inside. You get the plastic on the seats. This is so well restored. stuff.
Let's say Napoleon way over there. We had a nice photograph with him. Nice guy. I'd like to thank Old Westbury Gardens, Ed Bullion for this great photo, and John Ficarra for this great photo. I had a great time. Thanks again.